Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we've got a lovely uh, sort of card design I guess of flower painting in a heart shape. So grab your paints and let's get started. Hi everyone. Um, I just thought it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day to paint heart shaped things and I rather liked the idea of, of putting this little piece together. So I'm just doing a, a horizontal line and then I'm finding a, a vertical somewhere in the middle doesn't need to be too precise. And from this, I'm going to measure out even widths either side. So I think we'll go for four and a half centimeters. Four and a half centimeters. That's just a little bit less than uh, two inches. And I'm gonna curve it, curve it down. One side is always easier to curve down <laughs> than the other. Why is that? Well, I know why that is, because our hands don't sort of quite fit the same way, do they? But there we go, got the bottom of our heart, and then we can just sort of freehand the rest. And there we go, there's a there's a heart shape for you. It's we just need it as a as a sort of rough guide. We're not go we're going to be sort of rubbing it out eventually. Now what we're going to do is we're going to begin by painting in lots of lovely little flowers and uh, permanent rose is such a lovely colour for that as well as yellow ochre adding in a bit of that and it just makes it just a little bit more blushy and fun. And what I like to do is I'm just going to sort of fill up the space with little blobs. That are all sort of emanating from a central point. Some may be just sort of upturned flowers so you can see and some might be flowers are a bit more open faced and we're just finding a, a little centre. But I'm essentially just painting in little, little marks essentially. Now some of these I could add a little bit of interest to. I'm going to take my Alizar and Crimson, just dot that into one or two. I'm going to have it quite sort of densely packed at the top because I want to really make sure we get that heart shape very clear. And then when we get into uh, further down, we're going to just ease off a little bit. So I'm just going to keep painting and every now and then dropping in a little bit of that pink, but not everywhere. And just a few single little blobs here and there. And some just sort of like sort of open cup flowers. So that's all nicely filled in and we've got, uh, you can see it sort of peters out a bit towards the bottom. I'm now just taking a bit of Alizar and Crimson, mixing it in with that permanent rose there. Now I did drop in a little bit of Alizar and Crimson here and there, but now what I'm going to do is I am just going to drop in one or two little um, sort of defined petals. just because I think it's it's fun to play around with different sort of ways with watercolour, whether it's whether you're painting sort of dilute, concentrate, or if you're painting onto a wet surface or onto a dry one. So 
so yeah you can see we're just adding a few concentrated bits of alizarin and crimson and I think, yeah, I think that's quite nice I just keep saying more that I want to do <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, right okay maybe just if I think it what it is is just a few blobs on their own here and there and then by slowly building that up that that's given it just a nice little extra intensity I'm actually going to take some Mars black now just wake that up in the palette and whilst that's all drying that's quite usefully doing uh, that's the joy of watercolor painting is um there's no point doing it when you're in a hurry. Get the pens or the crayons out if you want to do things nice and fast, but watercolour is all about just relaxing into the moment and not rushing things. Okay, so we've got this uh, Mars Black all mixed up. And I'm going to take my two tenths brush once again and get a really concentrated bit of black onto the brush and what I want to do not in every single one is to add a few dots and you can see they're pretty messy messy dots I'm just looking at the piece uh, as a whole and I feel like that's enough black. It's just a little bit, it's just these little bits are just building up a nice bit of interest the whole time. Okay, now it's time for the stems. So I am going to get a bit of sap green and I want some Payne's Grey to just knock it back a bit. I like that slightly foresty green colour. And I've got the, my, uh, my rigger brush, the wonderful rigger brush, which will allow me to paint lovely long slender stems. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to work my way up uh, and I'm going to find flowers and then I'm sometimes going to find other things um, I don't need every single flower to necessarily come off a branch but what I do want is a sense of this heart shape and I want to get a sort of tangle of branches going in there, of stems. I'm at the moment thinking I want to uh, have the flowers sort of in the foreground. So my stems are stopping each time they meet a flower. And then you can sort of start halfway up one. But the hope is that you meet a flower on the way. Or maybe start from further down. <laughs> Oh, I'm terribly sorry, you can hear the dogs. <laughs> I think they've been patiently sitting outside my door as a paint. I sort of forget they're there because they're wonderfully quiet. So I'm just going to fill up this whole heart with these stems and then we'll add a few leaves. At this stage, um, it's all about making sure we now can really 
um, sort of pad this out into a, a clear heart shape once the pencil has disappeared. So what I'm looking for is areas where there might be a bit of a, a gap. There we go. Around the edge in particular, I've just got my two tenths brush back and yeah, I'm just filling in spaces with some little simple leaves and then some even simpler ones down the bottom. And it's also about filling in the gaps in the middle of the piece as well. So I'm just using the same colour that I did the stems in. And my aim is to not go outside of the heart shape, even though I'll go right up to the edge like that. And even just some little sort of dashes of green here and there. That aren't even necessarily obviously joined to anything. And there you have a lovely little sort of heart shape bouquet. You can clearly see the heart shape and that's from making sure we've got little bits all around the edge and those stems really curving up from the bottom. Once that pencil's rubbed out, it really does um, leap off the page. So there you go, it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day to uh, enjoy a little heart shaped something. Um, what a lovely thing to pop in your journal maybe. But I really hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a huge thank you to our patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these. If you want to become a patron, just check the details in the episode notes below. And if you like this video, then hit the like button and comment to let us know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, just hit the subscribe button. And don't forget our big announcement coming tomorrow, don't miss it. Until next time, bye.